Hey guys, Shadow Wolf here, and today we're playing some more Wolf Survival 2. But before we get started, this is indeed a lapis lotus bow necklace and shout out to your social media account. Open up my social if you have any. I'd like to be in the video too. And let's begin by adding some people to the Paw Center today. If you want to be added to the Paw Center, leave a comment down below. Subscribe to the channel, and I will be add you. Uh, go subscribe to these people. They deserve to be subscribed to. And today we're gonna finally get back to working on um, Five Nights at Galaxies. So yeah, let's go. So I'm not really sure what to talk about today. I mean, you know, eh. Oh, so you know, my sculpture I've been working on in art, uh, so I was 100% sure it was going to explode because I forgot to, uh, create ventilation in one of my wings for my flying wolf sculpture that I created, and, uh, I was for sure that that was going to explode, and I wouldn't have a sculpture to paint, but luckily, after a week, Two weeks of contemplating and, you know, pondering on the fact that it, it might explode and I might get yelled at from the teacher. I looked once we started glazing today with our paints, and it was there. It didn't explode. It was all in one piece, and I was happy. It was a good day. Except a thing... Something did, however, happen. Not to my sculpture, but, you know, I was... In the morning, I usually sit at this table, and my friends come over, and they sit at the table with me, too. It's been a tradition ever since I, I got back into school. Um, so... One of my close friends was sitting uh, across from me, and they were talking to one of my other close friends. Um, and as I, I know I'm not supposed to do this, but you know, I tend to uh, just overhear people's conversations. So I, I overheard theirs, and I didn't like what I heard. I, I really. This is my fault for listening in, but I really didn't like what I heard. Um, so, I easily get triggered whenever, like, not triggered as in the new cool kid term, but actually triggered if somebody mentions, um, if somebody uses, uh, depressed wrong, like, as an adjective for sad. Look, listen, I know the difference between depressed and sad. When, peop when people use that as an adjective for sad instead of, like, sad, I get triggered. But my number one trigger is when people talk about... When people do suicide jokes, It's it really isn't funny. It really is not funny. And I, they know this, too, and I was right there. I could hear into their conversation, but I don't think, you know, they, they were talking about suicide jokes, and they were laughing at them, and I know they probably didn't think I was listening, because, you know, why would I ever listen? It's not like I want to be part of the conversation, but, you know, it just really made me sad. I, I trusted them, but no matter, they, they don't know who they are, so, th th that, that's okay. Um, <sighs> I just, I'm kind of disappointed as well. I mean, not only did it trigger me, 
it's my close friend who is saying this. So, that also impacts me a little bit more than just a random person. Usually I would have gone right over there to stop them from saying such things, but if I went over there and told them I was listening to this conversation and got things out of context, then I would be the one to blame. If I don't know the whole story, I don't think I have a valid point. I'm just venting here. If I don't have a valid point, then I don't know for sure if my case is correct. If I don't have evidence to support that my case is correct, then I will cause an argument that should never have existed in the first place. Which I do avoid at all costs. Conflict can go away. Just really, I thought that maybe they could take the lesson that I that I tried to teach them a long time ago to, 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 to not touch on sensitive topics like that because you don't know who may be listening and who it might affect. And it just, I don't know. I feel like I should talk to them about it, but you know, then again. I'm kind of nervous too. too. That, that's two twos in a sentence, okay. <laughs> it's just, I. Uh, it scares me, oh my goodness, why? I just don't understand why people think it's funny though. It's not funny if you think about it. Suicide is no funny topic. It really isn't. Especially when you use it out of context. Not out of context like that. I'm sorry. I'm, I'm getting over emotional again. Like I always do. You know. Typical me, am I right? But it just really bothered me. See, remember when I said that the smallest of things can get me like that? Take for example this. That to me really isn't a small thing. It's something bigger than that. And I guess it's just me. So I'm not supposed to be hearing the walls like that. Snappity. But I, I actually thought that. talking about. I'm just, I had more trust in them than I could have had. And now, I'm not really sure where they stand. You know, I know they're not going to do it around me, because you know, I've already made it a point for them to not do it in front of me. And I know that I can control their life, but really, I teach them a lesson like that, they should carry it on. That's what a lesson is all about, right? They shouldn't just not do it when I'm around because when I'm not around, then they become a, ha a habit of theirs. And I really don't want that for them. It could lead to dangerous situations with people that they don't know could trigger. And then they, they could just, I don't know, ruin it for the pleasure. I guess I thought I don't know what I thought. Anyways, you guys, 